Hello, so I had a video request from someone asking if I could talk about how to strengthen the immune system as we're heading into the cold and flu season. So first of all, if you're someone who has taken a lot of antibiotics in the past, know that your gut may have some damage. Antibiotics not only kill the bad, but they kill the good. So they sterilize your gut. And when you have a sterile gut, you are very vulnerable to anything that comes your way. So it's really important to build yourself back up if you have taken a lot of antibiotics. There are other things that can damage the gut, smoking, alcohol, those definitely can damage, more like weaken your immune system versus damaging the gut. Seed oils can damage the gut. Gluten can damage the gut. Junk food can damage the gut. But overall, I really wanna focus on nutrition here. Whether you're vulnerable or you're not as vulnerable, what will dictate how strong you can act against these viruses that are everywhere and will continue to be everywhere. I, I personally think that they're gonna keep getting worse. I think we're gonna go through seasons where we are asked to cover our faces and I think it's gonna keep happening. And I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole right now. I have just been praying for discernment on how to start talking about those things because I really think it's important to spread the message but I don't wanna get shut down. So anyways about the cold and flu season and just keeping your immune system strong. So one thing to know is that your innate immune system is the first part of your immune system and that innate immune system is heavily influenced by your nutrition. It's heavily influenced by the way that you eat. And so if you are eating things and spiking your blood sugar all the time, anytime you spike your blood sugar, you're weakening your immune system. So if I ever get a cold, I'm never gonna reach for, oh, let me drink some orange juice and eat some toast. That is going to give you a huge blood sugar spike and lower your immune system. It won't be able to fight as well. So what I want you to do is give yourself amino acids via animal protein and fatty acids, beneficial fatty acids via animal fat. So you would do really great eating a ribeye steak and drinking some warm bone broth for your throat and for your health and for your gut health and for your immune system. Your body needs nutrients to fight viruses and illnesses and disease. Your body needs nutrients to thrive. These nutrients come from animal foods. Animal foods have the most bioavailable form of nutrients. You don't need to go do anything special. You don't need to worry about mega dosing vitamin C. What I would say is consider taking a zinc supplement if you are coming down with a cold. So say you woke up with a little tickle in your throat. If that ever happens to me, I'm taking zinc. Same for my husband. It's just gonna help your immune system to be more alert and strong. Other than that, it boils down to your behaviors and your nutrition, and this is what the science shows us. So if you would like to you know, depend on NyQuil and all these cough drops and all these extra things that people are trying to sell you, have at it. But what you should be doing is building up your immune system now, building up your body now to be strong and healthy and to be able to fight these things. I almost died from a chronic C. diff infection. It's a bad bacteria that takes over the good bacteria in your gut. Part of the reason I was so vulnerable to that particular virus, the C. diff, is because I have taken antibiotics most of my life. And then I took clonazepam, which is a benzopidine, for 13 years, which is very damaging to the gut. I was so vulnerable and no one told me that taking those things would put me in that place. No one ever told me that. I shouldn't have been allowed to take benzopidines for 13 years, but a lot of people are and a lot of people do. So focus on protecting the creation that you are. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. We need to support our bodies, aim for steady blood sugars, aim for nutrient dense foods, and maybe some zinc. I hope that this helps.